Today I got a really interesting question from a colleague of mine. What um, they wanted to do was to resize embedded Tableau dashboards based on um, the window in which you are viewing the dashboard. What that means is that um, in this instance they wanted to display the dashboard on a screen in an office and they wanted it to take the full width of the kind of the window. Um, I thought well that, that's possible um, but on top of that we want to add another requirement is that whenever you start resizing your uh, window or other elements on the page resize that the Tableau dashboard also resizes. Now uh, luckily we can do this with Tableau's uh, JavaScript API and I um, created a um, quick example of how to do that and I'll, I'll walk you through uh, the code on how to do that. I'll also put a link to the actual uh, code in the description of this video. So first of all, let's, let's take a look at our to-do list. So we want to figure out the, uh, how to resize the dashboard so it fits the window of the browser. And what I mean with the window of the browser is this um, kind of the white space, right? So everything underneath the, the URL bar, that's where the dashboard goes and it needs to um, fit this completely. What that means is that depending on whatever screen you're viewing it, you get a different size of the dashboard, okay? Um, now, what we also want to do is that the user doesn't have to refresh the browser to make this work. That's the other requirement. Now, if you're a Tableau user, you know that Tableau has automatic size dashboards and it has another way is called fixed dashboard size. Um, what that means is that automatically will already fit to, to whatever space you give it, whilst fixed is something you predefine um, when you actually build the dashboard. But how does it work with these two types? Now, um, what I've done is I've created a really quick, um, um, in this case, HTML um, page. Uh, we have a, what they call the, what I call the this container. This is where the actual dashboard lives in. We have a um, script. Um, so this one links to a JavaScript file on, on um, our information lab um, server. You can, of course, use your own server there or Tableau public. This is just a JavaScript library. And we have a style sheet. Um, the style sheet itself just resets some of the base um, CSS properties and makes sure that on, on load, kind of everything nicely centers with uh, with Flexbox. Okay. Um, now, if we then hop into the JavaScript file, I've already created kind of the basics for this. Um, we are looking for the this container. Uh, that's where we're placing the dashboard. Um, I've already created two variables for, in this case, the auto URL, which is the automatic sized dashboard and the fixed um, kind of fixed width and height size dashboard. They both have different um, um, URLs. Um, and then we define kind of the basics that we do whenever we embed Tableau dashboards. So um, the first thing that I want to do is I want to um, make this this take the full width and height of the page. You can see here at the bottom, there is still space to kind of stretch out the dashboard. So the height is at this moment fixed and I'm using the automatic size dashboard. Um, I can go into Tableau Online actually. I'm using my Tableau developer uh, site. I can go to this auto sized one. And what we'll see here is that um, if I go to web edit mode, um, you can see that this is a automatic sized dashboard. Okay. So, um, well, it's fairly easy to find the width and the height of your kind of window. So in HTML, for the height, what we can say is window dot. And we have the inner height property. For width, we have exactly the same. So we do window dot inner width. Okay. Now, if we save the file, you can see that um, my web server restarts the, the actual this and the page and we can see it now nicely fits the whole website. Now if we start resizing this, so for example you can see I've now given the this more space 
it doesn't auto resize, right? So it doesn't kind of fill up the whole space that we, we've actually given it. So how do we fix that? Well, that's the next thing that we want to do. And what we want to do is we want to listen for resize uh, events in the browser. So we do that by going to window dot add event listener. And the event that we want to listen for is the resize event. This um, event listener, of course, has a callback. So whenever the resize happens, we want to execute some, some code. So let's actually do the following. Um, let's console.log and let's say uh, we can do something like resizing the window. And then we can say window.inner height. And then we do window.inner width. Okay. What this will do is, um, well, um, surprise, surprise, it will console.log um, this particular message. But just to demonstrate what it's doing. So you can see if I now start dragging, for example, you can now see the console will log out the the actual resizing. You can see it starts rendering lots of kind of um, messages to the console. So that's great. Um, that means that whenever we resize, a message gets logged. But what we want is to resize the Tableau visualization. So um, let's go back to kind of this resize. What we can do is actually create a separate function for this. So let's say auto resize. So what we're going to do is we're going to say um, the width is going to be window dot inner width. Let's do the same for the height. There we go. So we just have two variables in which we store this, this, uh, these values. And now what we want to do is on the actual this, we want to say set the frame size and the frame size first ha has two properties. The first one is uh, the width and the second one is the height and they need to be expressed in, in numbers, right? In integers. So because um, the window that inner height already returns that, we can um, use those two variables that we just created. Okay, so now we have created this auto resize function. Well, we're actually not using it. So let's put that underneath in the event listener and we're gonna say auto resize. So that means whenever the resize event takes place, it logs out this message, but it also runs this function called auto resize. Okay? So let's make the window a little bit bigger. And now what we'll see is that it nicely resizes it. Uh, what I've done is I've set um, Tableau's animation like to be very slow. Um, so you can see that something is happening. And now you can see without reloading the visualization, we're kind of um, responsively changing the width and the height of the dashboard. Now, this is great if you are using automatic sized dashboards. However, the other requirement that we had is how can we make this work if we have a fixed dashboard size? Now, for that, what we need to do is let's go back into my code. And we're going to change, first of all, the actual um, URL. So this is going to be our fixed URL. Okay. So we can now, it will now load the uh, fixed URL just to go back to Tableau Online to show you that we actually have this as fixed. So if we hop into web edit mode, what we will see is that this particular dashboard has a fixed height and a fixed width. Okay? So, but how do we resize this particular dashboard when something happens? Cool. So uh, first of all, we've already changed the URL to point to the fixed URL, so that's good. Um, now the next thing that we want to do is um, here we've 
created the auto resize function and we used a set frame size. We can't use that with the uh, fixed size. So we need to create a separate function and let's call this one re, uh, resize fixed dashboard. Doesn't really matter how you call those things. Um, and now we need to do a few more steps. First of all, um, we need to grab the dashboard itself, but that's called the active sheet. So we're gonna create a variable called sheet. And from the actual this, we're first of all getting the workbook. So that means the whole workbook that contains multiple dashboards. And then we want to get the active sheet. And that is the dashboard. And on this dashboard, we can start resizing things. Now, we want to use this dashboard, so sheet dot. And now there is a method, and this method is um, also changing the size, but this is doing it asynchronously. So this method is called change size async. And what that one has is a, is a few properties. Um, so we need to give it an object and uh, the object has a behavior. Um, make sure that you spell behavior correctly. <laughs> um, then go and set that one to exactly. So that means that it's an exact um, size that you specify. Um, and then you can specify the, the other properties such as max size because we want to render this like the, the max size of the actual window. Now, what we're going to do here, we need to give this a, an object as well, where we setting the height. And the height is going to be our window dot inner height. We also need to set the width. Uh, that's not correct. That is width in that way. <laughs> Um, and then we set window dot inner width. Okay, cool. So after that, what we want to do is because this is asynchronously, we say dot. Then oh, we need to go one down dot then. Um, we want to. Um, now set the frame size to the inner width and the inner height. Okay, so we're going to say this dot set frame size, and we do window dot. And first of all, it's the width. So inner width window dot inner height. Now, if we save this. Um, prettier should help us and make this a bit leg more legible. You can see the, um, the actual um, function resize of um, uh, reformatted there. And now we can say rather than the auto resize because that one's not working, we need to do the resize fixed dashboard function, the one that we just created. So if I hit save, um, and we're now gonna start resizing this screen. And see, I've now resized it. The next step, because this is asynchronously, it will load in new properties for this dashboard. And then what we'll see is that it now should have, and the dashboard is a little bit slow, it should resize the dashboard. And there we go. And now we can see it takes up the full width and height. So if we close the console, for example, that would trigger another resizing and we can see it has now also resized this one. So this is a way to also start resizing your fixed dashboard nicely as well. Okay, I'll put um, the full code to this on GitHub, but thanks a lot for listening um, and I'll see you in another video.